In today's Power Query challenge, our task is to normalize this table. Take a look, we need to align the group names to the right and make sure each employee's department is assigned correctly. Alright, let's get started. First, let's tackle the group name. We are going to add a custom column to help with this. In the formula field, we'll use a conditional statement. Type this. If employee ID is number, then null, else employee ID. Here is how it works. For rows without real employee IDs, which are basically the group headers, we get those group names. For all other rows, it returns null. This setup allows us to easily fill down the group names later. Now go ahead and fill down on this column. Our group names are in place, aligned with each employee. Nice. Now it's time to delete all unneeded rows. Just use filter I remove empty in our name column. Now let's move to the departments. We can't just fill down or up here, as the values would get mixed up across groups. So here is a neat trick. We'll use the group by function. In the group by dialog, set it to group by group. Under operation, choose all rows. The name of the new column doesn't matter here. Now each group's data is contained within its own nested table. This setup allows us to work within each group without data spilling over to others. Let's take a closer look. You'll see an underscore symbol in the formula. This acts like a placeholder represented each nested table we just created. Now we'll apply a fill operation directly inside each nested table. The syntax is following. Table fill down, open the bracket, underscore, comma, figure brackets, quotes, and our depth column name. This will make sure each department value fills down correctly within each group. Let's repeat the same process with table fill up. Almost done. Normally, we could expand the nested tables, delete the first column and rename one or two things. But let's try something more elegant. Just open the square brackets after our formula and type the column name all. And now put it into a table combine function. Just as planned. And now we are done for today. See ya!